Hey guys, it is Dragonus, and it is close to 2023, so this will be my last video of this year. So, I'm going to show you the entire DVD collection for this year, so it would take me long to upload the video because, well, you know what I meant. So, I'm going to show you most of them in sleeves and a few in cases. So, Alright, let's begin. Starting with this one. It is, uh, <clears throat> something. Well, I live in a Jewish household, to be honest, so don't ask. Alright. As you know from the title, yes, I'm showing you entirely. It looks like a VHS clamshell. I don't own a VCR yet. I'll get one one day. Okay, now to sleeves, starting with this one over here. Some DVDs I'm going to show you are THX certified. Childhood movie over here. Night ninety eight DVD. This this committed fraud. <laughs> Kidding. Some exercise DVD. I, normally, I don't collect workout DVDs. Well, in case you're wondering, my mom's an athlete. <sighs> yeah, back at 70, so I'm just gonna stick it here. Next one, prepare to cringe. These are part of my childhood, but I didn't really like them, so I just get, get so I kept them for collection purposes, to be honest. And you, you guess by the title, everybody knew it was one of those worst preschool shows on the list, especially Water Pets. Ugh. If you hate. If you like Blue Sloop, then I can handle your opinion. This one has their s its segment. Ugh! Bob the Builder is part of my childhood, so why not keep it for collection purposes? And... Yeah, the only Water Brothers movie on this side. Not these four. These four are garbage! Fuck Max and Ruby. Yeah. Yeah, let me show you the bottom. Okay. Look at- Oh, fuck. See? This is rotted. Melted. Look at that. I'll get this in a better condition copy. So I can- actually make this work, but it's still on YouTube, doesn't matter, it's a Night Night 7 DVD, 
couple of Studio Ghibli directed by Hayao Miyazaki. Yeah. Two thousand DVD still. It's a widescreen copy. I have it for a long time. Tomorrow, this movie's in public domain. Once this video is uploaded. Night Night 7 DVD. Over here. That's our CTHV logo at the beginning on side A, which is a widescreen side. Same as, well, yeah, it's from it's one of the music DVDs I have since childhood. Moving on, we have one three two one penguin and show on Sesame, which is a Jewish uh, Sesame Street side. Let's take place in Israel. But <clears throat> if you hate Sesame, if you like Sesame Street, then I can have your opinion. It's just dull in the modern day age. It was what's good until segments came. See, that's 3 to 1 Penguin, which is from Phil Vishker, the creator of Veggie Tales. Whatever. First Transformers movie is decent. The first one is the Bumblebee. Uh. Yeah. You may notice, I have it on digital, so I kept the DVD version. Yeah, these sleeves are empty. Pirates of the Caribbean, this is THX certified. Dead Men's Chest. World's End, I don't have a rest. has Stargate at the back. This is Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Robin Hood Men in Tights, Spaceballs, UHF, and Weird Al Yankovic's videos, which while, while on my dad's car, I listened to his interview. Well, a bit. Afterwards, so here says live. Last week, make a ball jest, which is a uh, DVD R. So this is not officially released. Chuck. Both um, season three and one. SG one, which is from MGM, as you can tell by MGM DVD logo. Engraved. So, yeah. Alright. So, as you can tell, yeah. Here they are. The Mummy Collector's Edition. The Mummy Returns. I don't have a Tomb of a Dragon Emperor. Oh, like my grandmother. Scorpion King. This one's just a bummer er, to critics. Everyone, my mom likes it. Full screen copy, which this is terrible. I tried playing it. Oh my god. I'll get the widescreen copy and replace this abomination. Full full screen. My grandmother has a widescreen copy. This is also widescreen. Da Vinci's Code, which I don't have Angels and Demons yet. It's a Columbia Pictures movie combined with Imaginary Entertainment. Um, a Knight's Tale, which is also in Charlie's Angels. Both Columbia Pictures movie. Little Woman is also a Columbia Pictures movie. Labyrinth, however! It's a TriStar movie that is released through Jim Henson by by Sony. Columbia Pictures movie Revolution and 
Revolution Studios film released from Columbia Pictures. It's a full screen copy. This one's the unrated version. <sighs> Sequel's horrible. So, I got this one. First movie's fine. It's just funny. This is THX certified. I've read the book. And sadly, rest in peace, John. A jo oh, Can't speak today. Douglas Adams, who passed away back in 2001. This movie is good to watch. Uh, Ro who framed Roger? Who framed Roger Rabbit? I knew that. It's actually Mel Blanc's final film role before he died. And yeah, this is a Terry Gilliam film, which is from Dimension Film. Next is the Harry Potter and Star Wars. Once a UK copy. Nothing on the back. These are bonus disc. Especially this UK DVD, despite it rated 12, it's equivalent to PG-13. Widescreen copy. All of them. Mackenzie Wheeler has a full screen copy, but yeah. Said this one. Part one, still American. And part two, which is a UK DVD. This is the one of those reasons PG-13 was born. Same for the next one, which I might show in a few moments after the sleeves. Chapter 4, A New Hope, which is from 1977. Empire Strikes Back, which is from 1980. And Return of the is from 1983. And fun fact, THX Wings was... Actually shown in a theater. Not all of them. It's THX certified, so... Yeah. And the only prequel I have, Revenge of the Sith. And some bonus disc. Next one is both Muppet Shows and Looney Tunes. Starting with... Yeah... Starting with the Muppet Show... My dad really loves 70s music, so why not? I haven't done the opening to all disc yet, so yeah, I guess so. Uh, just so you know. The Muppet movie, the original movie. Side A widescreen, side B full screen. Muppets Take Manhattan, which is... And Muppets from Space, which is on Side B, full screen. Because it's a 2006 reprint. Now on to Golden Collection, which I have yet to get Volume 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, yeah. Might get Volume 3, 4, 5, and 6 one day to complete it. And yeah. And this disc has Willie Coyote. My dad's favorite. It duels. Side A is Space Jam, but the other side's different because it's Looney Tunes back in action. So I probably make sure it's Yeah. It's a bummer. Space Jam's still decent. Uh, religious stuff, which I don't collect. Uh, not this one. This is a uh, Medieval Times that my brother went to South Carolina. Um, yeah. Just this. This is religious. Same with these two. That's religious. It's a cleaner disc. And, as you can tell, behind here is, yep, you guessed it, Hamilton CD. Prepare to screech very loud. 
the Wiggles. Boy, I hate the those nowadays. What's once part of my childhood, but songs are annoying. I don't know why my family really likes it, but if you like it, then I can have your opinion on like how to wiggle the clown. Yeah, there's some learning stuff. Stum. Yep, yep, I knew it could get copyright claimed if I do the opening to these three. So, I'll just keep it off. The only Bill Knight DVD I have. And, yeah, it's a bit childish, but I'll keep it. The only Fraggle Rock DVD. I don't have all of the series. <sighs> I have the entire series, which I'll show in a bit. These two are... Yeah. There is a cringy rent by Brandon Barney against World World. But if you like World World, I can have your opinion. It's just annoying. This is the BBC DVD, which the rest will be shown. And people I need to show it in. It's just math. My mom collects math DVDs. Uh, this one I drew on. I was very immature back then. Yeah. These are just... Yeah, nothing on the back. I don't have all, them all. On to this big raw, which I'm gonna start with this. Load... Parody, uh, you know, the movie called The Fugitive, which is filmed where I live, which, I visit the mountain range back when floors was over there. Yeah, but I didn't see the wreckage the Warner Brothers made. I'm sticking to the DVD because the 4K is worse. And I don't have them all. The Pink Panther DVDs. This was... This is, yeah. Before there was a MGM re-release from Shop Factory. The Return of the Pink Panther is owned by Arson. So that makes a difference. Um, it's a 1980 film. I, full screen copy. It's a decent, I don't know. Side A's Revenge of a Nerd, Side B is Nerds in Paradise. This has a cut ending. Here's some, uh, yeah. I have, I have a couple of Marvel movies, like the X-Men. Three of them. I've seen it on Disney Movies Insiders. And I've already had it. Thank you very much. 1985 and 1980, well, you know, 1987. The Iron Giant, side A, widescreen, side B, full screen. Blade Runner, director's cut. I I was thinking of getting a Blade Runner, the final cut. <clears throat> Just to get the work print version. Man Black, it's a 1997 movie. Man of Black 2, 2 Man of Black 3, which is a 2012 movie. Tomb Raider, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It's a Disney copy. Andrus Game, I have it on digital, on Voodoo. Jurassic World, I have... Should I know this? Ghostbusters 1 and 2, side A widescreen, side B full screen for this copy. Baby Einstein and yeah, you guessed it. They're too childish. So I've been grown up. Anyway, um I might notice 
This is for deaf people who have impaired hearing. So I kept it for collection purposes because there are some bits that are so annoying. All of them are from, well, two round two. These three, two round two. Uh, this is a two round five. Oh, yeah, it's wrong. All right, just hang on. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. There we go. I just have to reorganize because this came out in uh, 2004. Just checking the dates on these discs. And yeah, it's too childish. Yeah. Yeah, you guess it. it. Uh, this is not my cup of tea. Nowadays. Used to be my childhood, but look at that. Yeah. And yeah, this is way too childish. Fuck. Yeah, I'm too old for this shit. This next one's anime. Audio Rocket and Princess Tutu. This one's TVMA. The other one's 14. Don't have Attack on Titans. So, that makes a difference. So, yeah. I have not seen anime. Veggie Tales. Um, you might tell. Another religious stuff. by, But this time it's by Phil Vishker. Two on three DVD. Uh, okay, uh, two on three. It's a Night Night 4, it's also a 2 3. Oh, uh, you and my neighbor. And ignore the background noise, so. Um, looks like I'm being too loud. I have siblings. The higher your mouth, siblings, so. Yeah. Um, well, the big exit based on Moses, Lil Joe, but based on Joseph. Yeah, I remember the Bible. Oh, bits. Uh. Yeah. Next one are Disney's. Starting with Toy Story, 1995. Both, both films are 100% Rotten Tomatoes. I checked. Um, yeah, despite the fact. This is THX certified. Yeah. Not rated now, G. Yeah. Nineteen thirty nine. Night night set. Night eight was made in night night seven earlier. Too childish, both of them. Yeah, also childish. If you guys like these, I can only know your opinion. Why not? <sighs> Weird. This award winner. Seen it in 3D. I have it on digital. Uh, Form a red box. Label. Wally. This recently got Criterion 4K, which is on HDR10. This disc, I'm not going to show the bottom bit. This is the older Miramax logo. This was never released in a modern world. 
Yeah. Um, sequel to the first movie, which I might show right now. Lilo and Stitch, Schoolhouse Rock, Airport's New Groove, The Ultimate Groove, Finding Nemo, Theatrical Version, Tron, Sleeping Beauty, Lion King 1 and a half. Uh, uh, skipped the uh, Night Night 4 movie of The Lion King, I skipped Beauty and Beast. This is The Incredibles. A Missing Monster Think. Aladdin. And Cars, which is Paul Newman's last role before he retired and died. Now to this mega row. Starting with the Fox. This one is the Fox movie. I have all the Despicable Me. B movie. Watch the way. Haven't done Madagascar opening DVD opening. Yeah. Set to run five DVD. Side A's Funky Monkey, Side B's Lost Master's Drone. I'm keeping it on this side because the side B is worse. Over the Hedge, Barnyard, Weird, Chicken Run, Shrek the Third, Garfield Holiday Collection, Curse of a Wire Rabbit, Home, Shark Tale, Real, which is annoying according to Tyler, me, this, and all three Despicable Me's. Next one. Yeah. Transformers animated, which these two are G1s. 1986. Oh boy. This is one of Orson Welles' last role before he died in 86. His voice line is recorded. Yeah. Yeah. I don't watch that much of He-Man. <sighs> Next one, this one prepared to cringe. Oh, it got good reviews, but it's just worse. 1986. In Japan, 1989 in the U.S. Full screen copy. First movie, I did the opening. Second one, pending. Both, I did the opening. Have us on digital. Well, yes. But, actually, no. Kidding. The original uh, BBC version of... Sorry, I hit the camera. Chronicles of Narnia. Super Mario Bros. Super Show, the only one I have. The only Clone Wars DVD I have, which... This one's from Warner Brothers, which... Nobody likes. Fall That Bird, which is from 86. Some full screen. Um, Lego Movie. The second part, which I don't have the first one. Curious George. I don't collect... Feature films for families. It's the only one I have. Well, you walk in a chocolate factory to see open matter version. Red box copy of. Ink cart. Ice Age. The only one I have. It's 1971. I, or. I don't know. Thorax. Next one's Thomas the Tank Engine. Then we got get to the Blu-rays.
Hard day. <laughs> PC game. <laughs> it is unknown. Yeah. It's the only Sony movie Thomas has. Salty secrets. <laughs> Kidding. Cranky Bugs, James and the Red Balloon, and other stories. Thomas and the Jet Engine. Thomas and friends get along. The. Yeah. <laughs> this one with the old face. Thomas comes to breakfast. Thomas is normally surprised. Races rescues in one race. My grandmother has the other copy. And these two witches from Good Times. Now we have the Blu rays. <sighs> Um, nineteen seventy. Deadpool, Incredibles two. Mamma Mia and the movie and the sequel. Die Hard, first four. I'll get fifth one for collection purposes. Yeah. Boss disc. Still so welcome to PS three. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which the new logo plaster, and the second part on Blu-ray. Next one. Yeah. If you hate Magic School Bus, I can have your opinion. The modern series sucks. This one I tried cleaning but failed. DVDs are prone to scratch. Rot. And all for Liberty Kids. Just as you know. Yeah, it's a slave of lost and found, but look, two thousand seven. Yeah, if you like this. Series I can handle your opinion. As long as the only vegetables that's up there. Ugh, Paw Patrols. Yeah, this one I had real problems with. This one I fished out of a Night Night Seven DVD player, and it looks damaged. So damaged. The only Christmas DVD I have at the moment. Gave mine to my to a friend. Um, Good Eats, which is a Food Network one, which is owned by the infamous David Salznav. God, I hate him. This CD. Which I might sh show. Not DVDs. Uh, this is interactive. CD. Um, yeah. Nobody likes it. Um, here's some, uh, you know. You know, uh, yeah, it's just sucky. He, for me, very worse. So, let's just say. Okay, this is the Animaniac soundtrack, which is from Water Brothers. As you can tell by the Bugs Bunny logo. Frog thing, which is an oil bug. Yeah. Ah, yeah, no, that's. Ah. Final roll before we get to cases. Are you being served? Which is a BBC show. <coughs> You've all said 2009, but this DVD is from 2002. So it's a reprint. Yeah. Here we go. These. It's gonna be a long video, as you know. Hook. This one I'll show in a minute. A little bit. The Dark Crystal, 1982. 
I, this also came with a Blu-ray starter. The Sting with Paul Newman. I paid him. Dan Aykroyd and the Dead and Deadpool. Yeah, not the Deadpool with Clint Eastwood. The this over here. As you can tell by this head, it's a Doctor Who DVDs. Christmas Invasion, New Earth, Tooth and Claw, School Reunion, Girl in the Fireplace, Rise of Cybermen, Age of Steel, The Idiot's Lantern, Doc Bonus Disc, Fear Her, Army of Ghost, Doomsday, which, um, well, uh, just give me a moment as I swap the disc. Um, oh, oh, hang on. Or, there we go. Impossible Planets, The Satan Pit, Love and Monsters, Fear Her, Army of Ghosts, Doomsday, Bonestis, The Runaway Blind, Smith and Jones, this. The Shakespeare Code, Gridlock, Dogs in Manhattan, Evolution of the Daleks, The Lazarus Experiment, Human Nature, Family of Blood, Blink, Utopia, Sound of Drums, T Last of the Time Lords, Bones Disc, Voyage of Damned, Partners in Crime, Fires of Pompeii, Planet of the Ood, The Sontaran Stratum, The Poison Sky, Doctor's Daughter, The Unicorn of the Wasp, Science of the In the Library, Force of the Dead, Midnight. Turn left, Stone Earth, Journey's End, Bonus Disc, The Next Doctor, Planet of the Dead, War of Mars, and The End of Time Part 1 and 2, which has Matt Smith at this 2. And Lord of the Rings, which I don't have, The Hobbits. The extended version. My grandmother has the theatrical version of Return of the King. Okay, that's the sleeves. Now to cases. I'll start with this pi pile. Reader, Reader's Digest, Ancient Worlds Brought to Life. Last Voices of World War One. Jeremy Chin's Lost. Mill Creek. Case is damaged, as you can tell. See? Disc is just fine. Yeah. This won't close. Indians, leaders, and nations. Rebels and Red Colts, which is a Paramount re release from PBS. And World War One. The War to End All Wars. Okay, now to this pile. It's a Shout Factory version. Nineteen seventy eight. Er, Canadian copy from Alliance Films. 
and the King's Speech is co-executive produced by the infamous Weinstein Brothers. Both Alliance DVD, both of all is from Entertainment One. The Holmesman, Lionsgate. This is a homemade DVD. Now for Living Dead. It's public domain. 1968. This is one I made. Thrills and Chills Collection Volume 4. Which has the remake. Resident Evil Apocalypse, The Devil's Tomb, and Zombie Strippers. Theatrical cut. Stay Masters Night Night Nine. Oh. Bluey, which is a uh, Amazon bootleg. It has teasing. Psycho, not the remake or the Indian film. This is a 1960 renewed in It's a Studio Jubilee. DVD's unlucky. It has grooves. Could see it. Blu ray's fine. Big with Tom Hanks. 1988. Has the unrated version on Blu ray only. The DVD from 1999 has a theatrical version. Theatrical version. Not the 2002 version. Okay, now to this pile, which one of them is a custom box because the case that came with this movie is terrible. 1972-1974 on the first two. I'm hoping to get the newer version, which is, um, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to start with this. Godfather, which is, uh... 1971 movie, some remaster version. Ugh. Whoops. <laughs> Nothing on the back. This is 1974. And Death of Michael Corlone, theatrical version. The Godfather, Part 3. I'm hoping to get the death of Michael Corlone on one day. Spider-Man, I lost this too because of my little brother. Two on two movie, so Marvel movie released from Columbia Pictures. Or reversed. Columbia Pictures movie coming with Marvel. Ultimate action pack with Ali and the greatest. Both about Muhammad Ali who died in in twenty sixteen, I think. Could be wrong. Bob 
Paul Bart Mall Cop. Nobody likes this movie, but I got it for collection purposes. Eco case. Shrek. Yeah, check this out. It has groove and a cracked ring, but the but I checked in. This is okay. Beverly Hill Cops. 1984, 1987, 1994. 1888, minor scratch. But third one's in better condition. Now to this stack over here. This one's THX certified. I'm hoping to get the first movie. Eh, to start my Terminator DVD collection. Theatrical version because it's rated R. It's set on rated. Remember, the X marks the spot to the treasure. Kidding. <laughs> I really love this movie. It's mixed reviewed from critics, doesn't matter. This is a theatrical version due to the rating on the back. Yeah, the pile's toppling. Right. Gods and Monsters, a pretty good movie. Reprint, it's 2003, it's from 2007. Plays the original thing. And this one recently got a UK 4K release. Originally released from Orion Pictures. It's a reprint from 2006. Plays the original thing. Now on the final stack my Warner Brothers DVD collection. It includes 8-Ball Bunny, not to be confused with Big Buck Bunny, which is a Creative Commons movie from Blender, a short one. It's only too short, doesn't matter. Widescreen copy. The other two weren't, well, the second one's decent. I haven't seen the three. Plays the original thing from 2016. I hate stack this case. I really like Clint Eastwood, so why not pick this up? 1971 renewed in 1999. 1973 renewed in 2001. 1976 renewed in 2004. And 1983. <sighs> Danny Glover was in Saul, so I already have this. Netflix wants to have the theatrical version. Two films. Yeah, Gremlins. It's a reason PG 13 was made. Gizmo. And this one. Currently, Gizmo is in multiverses. So why not? Has the same master as two out of one. Right. Here's Johnny K. 
kidding. It has it uses the same cover as 4K. This is a 2019 DVD. This one's a 1980 one. Yeah, 1980. Happy feet. Turn six. Come in with the show. Which is Australian. Combined is same with Lethal Weapon. Reason why I picked this up because the voice of Gladys L. McLean is in it. Yeah. You never know about the snipe the voice actor for Sniper's wife. Yeah, yeah, I know that. She's also yeah, she's also the administrator in TF2. So, why not pick this up? It's still said movie! Great gaming. So, enough explaining. Here's the last one, which is from. which has. Well, Sylvester Stallone! For some reason, it has Warner Bros. Minor scratch it is glitchy at the beginning. And there you have it. The entire DVD collection. So I hope you have a new year. See you in my next video. Back in 2023.